Remember, under the stairs, all those interviews I did? I am so overwhelmed by the response and the comments that I've got from all of you since coming back onto YouTube. And it's exciting because I know that uh, there's a huge potential there with the following I've got on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube to do something, but I just want to have fun. I look at other people that I was following for two years, brave, wonderful, courageous and compassionate people. And I just, I, I, I've turned off from it. I don't want to talk about COVID. I'm traumatised. I want to have fun. I want to enjoy life. I want to think about what we did together, how we all fought and how we are living in different places. You know, for example, um, a girl I used to work with at ITV in Birmingham, she lives in Italy. And um, she said they have to wear masks, the children, even though they're vaccinated up until June in Italy. And I know how hot it is there. And I thought, well, we haven't had that for our kids. We fought and we need to realise that uh, that fight by bringing in the debate, the compact counter narrative that wasn't there on the old idiots that I used to work for and we used to watch, you know, we fought that, we did. Um, we have to really be very proud of what we achieved. Against vaccine passport stuff as well was crazy. I was working on it all day. Um, we still have 3,000 businesses on the directory, freedom-loving businesses, um, particularly good if you're looking at mental health. There was lots of psychotherapists on there and I think... I am suffering, I'm delicate, thinking about, you know, getting therapy, processing that crazy period in our lives. I was talking to someone about, you know, I was doing lots of corporate communications media training before lockdown, and I didn't want to do Zoom. I just hate Zoom. I do it, I'm doing an hour a week at the moment through Patreon, if you want to join me for that, an hour and a half a week training, but I just didn't want to do it. But then I was thinking to myself, I didn't need the money because there was nothing to spend it on anyway. Do you remember that? You couldn't go shopping. I couldn't go out. I couldn't see my family. I couldn't see my friends. I was single at the time. All my work had stopped. It was just crazy. The kids couldn't go to school. They couldn't even go to the playground. When it was my daughter's birthday, I couldn't even buy her a present. It was all very, very strange. You know, there are so many stories, um, so much pain, so much suffering at the hands of the government making that decision to, uh, to lock us down, which I still look back on as the big things, the lockdown. The lockdown and uh, how they closed the schools. Um, and how, for example, ch children's mental health services were were stopped or they were done via Zoom. And it's the thing is that how is our lives, how are our lives looking now? And why should we be worried about the future if it's not here yet? We should enjoy and rest and have fun. And I really want to have fun. And I want to make this channel fun. Um, I'm a very dif different person on TikTok, but it's a private account, so you can't follow me there. But I laugh. And I like making jingles and uh, singing stupid songs and having a laugh. And that's what I want it to be fun. And if I do do interviews, they're going to be about fun topics and uh, just stupidness and silliness. I don't want to, um, to be negative about the future. I want to be positive about the future. And I want to enjoy today. Enjoy each day as the sun comes out. Yes, I still have to book to go swimming, which is really annoying. Um... I have to book to go to the tip. You know, here I live near Cardiff. There was thousands and thousands of people at the Ed Sheeran concert, you know, no no masks, no dispute on that. Great. But we still having to book for stuff, which is annoying. But actually, life is good. And um, let's enjoy it. Let's enjoy it and have a laugh. Oh, and what I want to say is if the 150 global opinions, if any of them want to do another video, um, as long as it's fun and upbeat or at least... You know, just gives us some kind of positivity for the future. Please send the videos to hello at briefsmedia.co.uk and I'll be very happy to include them on the YouTube channel.